Andrew here guys welcome back to Drew Tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to change your workspace view in Trello. Now there's two other ways you can easily change this. Now this is the default view and I would call this one the list view right and this is the list view or the card view because here you can easily play with your card in a graphical design right as you can see here you can take cards you can move cards from one to the next right so that's how you can easily go ahead and play around with this part here and you can open up a specific card if you so desire and so forth now guys what i want to also show you as well that you can easily switch this to for example a table view or even a calendar view so how do you do that it is very easy on the left hand side you have something called a workspace view and you can easily switch this to a table view which looks like this and you can see all of your different tasks or your cards here in a table view you can easily switch them to whatever so let's say i want to move this to doing i can switch that to doing and you can see that it's all uh, it's changed as well so that's how you basically change this you can always play around with labels you can add labels you can change labels it's basically the same it's really depending on the views that you want to choose right you can see the status and so forth you can see the members and due dates and so forth right you also have something that you can always save this new view so for example you make some changes to it you can save the view if you so desire you also have filters here that you can choose so let's say i want to show for example what is overdue i can enable that right you can enable a ton of different things that you can choose that you want to see right so it's really up to you what you want to basically add right so it's really up to you so you can play around with it guys and add whatever you want and then you can filter these different things to basically show what you want so it's very important if you're working on a lot of different projects if you want to see everything you leave it as is but you can always go ahead and play around with you know what's there to filter stuff real quick if you so desire and once you filter it in a certain way you can always go ahead and save them so i'm going to do a quick example let's say i want to basically select the view that is only with that specific person i can go ahead and do that and i can just save this view here and you can see that this view is now saved right so you can now see that the view is saved and i could have even give it a name so you can always go in and you can click on it and you can give it a name once you so desire right you can always go back and you know change this at a later point in time as well it's really up to you how you go about and change the make these different changes as you so desire you can reset filters and all those good stuff right so go ahead and check this out guys that's how you basically change this specific view once you change it you can save it now the other view you have is a calendar view that looks just like a calendar so you can see what's in your calendar and you can easily go ahead and change that so if you have some specific tasks you can go ahead and you can see them you can switch by month you can see all of these so you can see like right here there's something for this month and i can switch between different months and i can see where i have those different tasks ready for me right so that's how to go ahead and basically change that and based on that guys you can easily manage your different tasks that you have by you know choosing whichever view you want so it's really up to you what you want to use what you want to see and how you want to view it guys and that's it but personally i am liking the one that i currently use which is the card view it's the most common one it's the most popular one because i can see things and one of the cool thing with the card view as well that you can easily collapse those different views so just in case you're working with cards guys and you want to let's say a little bit collapse the board you can simply go ahead and click on the collapse to collapse any card that you so desire so if you look here to the top you can see collapse you can click on that and you can easily collapse some of these right so it's really up to you how you want to basically do it and here you can switch as well so if you look at the top you have different things so you have for example list you can basically enable calendar, you can enable dashboard, you can enable some timelines, maps, and all those good stuff. So depending on what you want, you can add these different things at the top. So it's going to literally make your experience better in Trello, right? So you can switch here quickly at the top now to have the table view here. You can have the calendar view from the top. You can have dashboard view if you want to view things like this as well. 
and you have the timeline view that you can view as well. You even have maps and so forth you can enable. So very important stuff here, guys. That's how you go about and change your views in Trello. Here you have it, guys. I really hope you found value within this video. And if you do, don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.